Good morning students. Today we will discuss about education. What do you know about education? Can you define? No. I will define it. Education is the all round drawing out of the best in child and man. Body, mind and spirit. According to Aristotle, creation of sound mind in a sound body. Then what are the concepts of education? Do you know? See, the word education is derived from the Latin word educare which means to lead out. This derivation denotes growth from within. Thus, the root meaning of education can be given as making manifest the inherent potentials in a child. The word educare means bring up, to train or to mold. Indian concepts of education. There are number of synonyms for the word education. The most popular Indian word shisha is derived from the verbal root shas which means to discipline, to control, to instruct or to teach. Similarly, the word vidya is derived from the Sanskrit verbal root vid, which means to know. Vidya is thus the subject matter of knowledge. Then I will discuss about the aims of education are here. Number one, utilitarian aim number two education for occasion number three education for knowledge number four education for culture number five education for character number six education for leisure number seven education for spiritualism Number 8. Education for individual development. Number 9. Education for social efficiency. Then individual versus social aim. Then physical health and well-being. Then international understanding. Then self-realization. Then harmonious development. Then mental and emotional development. Then intellectual aim. Then citizenship. Last moral development. These are the aims of education which we discussed here. Okay. Then what do you think about nursing education? Do you know? Nursing education is a professional education which is consensually, systematically planned and implemented through instruction. Objectives of nursing education To prepare nurses who will give expert bedside nursing care in the hospital and home. Then, to provide opportunities through curricular and extracurricular activities for the full development of personality of each individual student. Then, to provide integration of health and social aspects. Then, to basic purpose of nursing education is to prepare the nurse and able to plan for and give comprehensive nursing care. Then, nurse must have necessary knowledge, principles, skills and attitudes which are essential to professional nursing practices. Then, the nurse educators should give the learning activities of students by acting as facilitators. Then, nursing students must develop competent health team members with the sound judgment, intellectual and moral enlightened, professional competence and expertise.
നേഴ്സ് ഷുഡ് കോമ്പിറ്റൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ടീച്ചിങ് ഓറിയൻറ്റഡ് ടു കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ഹെൽത്ത് ആൻഡ് റിസർച്ച് മൈൻഡഡ് നേഴ്സിംഗ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഷുഡ് ഇമ്പാർട്ട് സയൻറ്റിഫിക് ആൻഡ് അപ് ടു ഡേറ്റ് നോളജ് ഇൻ ദ ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് മെഡിക്കൽ സോഷ്യൽ ബിഹേവിയറൽ ആൻഡ് ബയോളജിക്കൽ സയൻസസ് നേഴ്സിംഗ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഷുഡ് ഹാവ് സഫിഷ്യൻറ്റ് തിയറി കണ്ടൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസസ് ഓക്കെ എയിംസ് ഓഫ് നേഴ്സിംഗ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ റൈറ്റ് ഡൗൺ നൗ നമ്പർ വൺ ഹാർമോണിയസ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് നമ്പർ ടു ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് റൈറ്റ് ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് നമ്പർ ത്രീ നോളജ് ആൻഡ് സ്കിൽ എയിം നമ്പർ ഫോർ എംഫസിസ് ഓൺ ഹൈടെക് ഹൈടെക് അപ്രോച്ച് പ്രിപ്പയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ടു ടേക്ക് റോൾ ഇൻ ലേണിംഗ് പ്രൊഫഷണൽ ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് അസിസ്റ്റ് ടു ബിൽഡ് എ പ്രോമിസിംഗ് കരിയർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സിറ്റിസൺഷിപ്പ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് സോഷ്യൽ എയിം നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടു പ്രിപ്പയർ ഗ്ലോബൽ നേഴ്സ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ലീഡർഷിപ്പ് എയിം വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസിംഗ് നേഴ്സിംഗ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ റൈറ്റ് ഡൗൺ നൗ നീഡ്സ് ഓഫ് സൊസൈറ്റി നീഡ്സ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് അഡ്വാൻസസ് ഇൻ സയൻസസ് കറണ്ട് ട്രെൻഡ്സ് ഫിലോസഫി ഓഫ് നഴ്സിംഗ് ഓക്കെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് ഫിലോസഫി വട്ട് യു തിങ്ക് അബൌട്ട് ഫിലോസഫി ദ വേഡ് ഫിലോസഫി ഈസ് ഡിറൈവ്ഡ് ഫ്രം ദ ഗ്രീക്ക് വേഡ്സ് ഫിലോസ് ആൻഡ് സോഫിയ ഫിലോസ് മീൻസ് ലവിംഗ് സോഫിയ മീൻസ് വിസ്ഡം ആൻഡ് ദ മീൻസ് ലവ് ഓഫ് നോളജ് ആൻഡ് വിസ്ഡം ദൻ റൈറ്റ് ഡൗൺ നൗ ഡെഫിനിഷൻസ് ഫിലോസഫി ഈസ് എ സയൻസ് ഓഫ് സയൻസസ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഫിലോസഫി ഈസ് ദ സയൻസ് ഓഫ് നോളജ് you can get more definitions in book refer the book also okay what are the branches of philosophy main divisions of philosophy are number 1 metaphysics number 2 epistemology number 3 axiology there are may many philosophies of education traditional philosophies are idealism naturalism pragmatism realism then modern philosophies are super materialism humanistic existentialism progressivism behaviorism humanism experimentalism reconstructionism now we will discuss about current trends and issues in education okay write down now recent trends are number 1 the use of internet and social media as a teaching tool number 2 students teaching teachers number 3 paying close attention to each student's needs number 4 the education industry number 5 current methodology of education okay then what are the issues in education do you know about this okay write down current issues in education are number 1 discipline and security number 2 race ethnicity and equality number 3 main streaming number 4 public versus private education then what are the trends in edu- nursing education right a profession is a dynamic integration of various faculties of knowledge since nursing education is a professional education it is dynamic by its own nature and thereby giving rise to trends let us see some of current trends in nursing education okay write down now number 1 curriculum changes number 
innovation in teaching and learning number 3 educational quality assurance number 4 more reliance on technology next emphasis on high tech high touch approach next preparation of global nurses then transnational acceptance then ensuring a promising career then emergence of new specialties then increased opportunities for higher education or studies next prevalence of short term clinical programs than post graduate programs next potential shortage of nurse education educators next diminishing government role last one uniformity and standardization okay what are the programs run in india nursing programs are diploma programs degree programs master degree programs and doctoral programs okay then we will discuss about issues in education it will divided by two number one social issues number two ethical issues what are the social issues in education write down now emotional issues ethnic issues gender issues economic issues cultural issues impact of social issues in education girl education and all okay what are the ethical issues there are certain ethical issues in education which to affect students such as whether to allow cell phones in school or not should the school uniforms be now we will discuss about education aims and objectives okay education is a process which brings about changes in human behavior every individual should have access to type of education that permits maximum development of his potentials and capabilities so in any education program it is essential that the education objectives are clearly stated to achieve the teaching learning process effectively what are the definitions of education objectives number 1 the results sought by learner at the end of education program number 2 education objectives are desirable outcomes of intended action through the mode of action education objectives are the learner centered or behavioral centered or subject centered important to use education objectives number 1 to develop mental skills for application in changing situations to determine curriculum levels to define scope of teaching to assess the learners and nurse educators performance then levels of educational objectives number 1 institutional objectives number 2 general instructional objectives nature of general instructional objective it reflects the conceptual framework of learning number 2 each general instructional objective addresses primarily one board learning outcome general instruction objective indicates what learners should take place without restricting the freedom of the educator to choose teaching methodology then a single general instructional objective can be interpreted into several specific learning outcomes number 3 specific outcomes learning
institutional objectives are a school of nursing a to train knowledgeable competent and skillful nurses who will provide quality nursing service in hospital and community general instructional objectives are learners secure adequate knowledge and skill to measure and interpret blood pressure specific outcomes of learning are at the end of the class the learners will be able to define blood pressure differentiate systolic and diastolic pressure explain factors influencing variations in blood pressure steps in formulation of educational objectives according to ralph tyler there are nine essential steps or step for to form formulate educational objectives they are number one identify the needs of learner number two identify the needs of society number three study of suggestion of experts number four formulate the philosophy number five state the objectives gathered from various sources in a proper way next formulate the theory of learning next screen the objectives through educational philosophy and educational psychology and select the appropriate ones next define the objectives clearly in terms of content then state the educational objectives in terms of behavioral outcomes or change okay taxonomies of educational objectives are a taxonomy is a classification of system developed by bloom in 1956 to achieve the desired educational goals i will define this according to tanner taxonomy system is designed one of one to classify the intended behaviors of students as a result of participating in some set of instructional experience and used to obtain evidence on the extent to which such behaviors are manifested rationale for taxonomy system critical dimensions is present facilitates communication in all education standard terminology applicable to human has direct learning on nursing programs enhancement of educational objectives what are the domains of educational objectives write down now number 1 cognitive number 2 affective number 3 psychomotor cognitive means intellectual ability affective means feeling and valuing ya yeah, emotionally number 3 manipulative or motor skills are in psychomotor skills now we will discuss about bloom's taxonomy domains number 1 cognitive number 2 affective number 3 psychomotor okay now we will see the steps of cognitive domain what are the steps see knowledge comprehension application analysis synthesis and last one evaluation okay then see affective domain and their steps steps are perception settings guided response mechanism complex over response adaptation origination then we will see affective domain and their steps receiving responding valuing organization characterization okay these are the taxonomy learning domains okay